Hello, my name is Mike Senna, and I am doing a conversion, an LS3 conversion in my 69 Camaro, and I have an electronic pedal here, but I also have a 700R4 transmission, which means that I need a TV cable to pull uh, the transmission to change the gears. So the electronic pedal is kind of standard, it looks like this, without these posts on it. I'll give you these post measurements later, but uh, that's the kind of pedal I'm using. Um, the first measurements I had to take, which were very important, were off of my old motor. This is where the TV cable mount was, and the cable stretched out to this little D-dent right here. So I measured the distance between here and here. That told me where I was going to mount this on my new uh, contraption. And also the distance of travel here. So the distance to travel here I got was about 3.5 centimeters and the distance here was about 11.5 centimeters. So the way I started was I drilled a, drilled a hole here and I put a quarter inch post and welded it in there. My idea was to get about a two centimeter travel when I pushed on the pedal. So then I made a template that I was going to later transfer into steel. I uh, used the existing holes for holding the pedal on and started experimenting with arms that I have a little post here. It's about two centimeters distance. The idea was to, when I pulled this lever here across this, it would move an arm outside here and give me the right distance. So I experimented with several different shapes of arms like this and when I pulled on this pedal it moved a certain distance on the outside here so you can see these marks where I finally got it to the position that I wanted and then from there I could transfer the arm size into, into something more stable that I can make a metal arm out of. So this is a plastic one. I made several of these things to try to get it completely perfect. So I transferred the measurements onto this piece of metal and you notice this bump little bump here on this uh, piece of metal here. I mounted a few washers to, to space the, the plate off of that bump. Uh, but in any event they use the same holes as what was in the pedal already and if you notice I welded on the post now it's a uh, quarter inch post with a couple little bearings on there it's just for to make it a smoother operation so I cut this arm out of a piece of aluminum from my templates and I used a piece of leftover uh, cable puller to just so that I can have something to hold the, the cable on. So my idea was to have the TV cable holder mounted right here. And when I pulled on the cable, when I pulled on the pedal, it would move the proper distance. So I did end up welding the holder right here. And when I mounted it into the firewall, the top of the firewall came here and the firewall came down this way and there was no way I was going to fit that TV cable here. So back to the drawing board a little bit. I knew I wanted to keep this distance so I wanted some kind of pulley to pull the cable over. So I kept the distance by just took a piece of wire and cut it at 11 point five centimeters and uh, you can see here that's where I mounted my TV cable holder and we'll go outside and I'll show you how it mounts in the Camaro. Before I forget I want to give you these measurements for these posts. Remember this goes for as in a, to a 69 Camaro so your uh, measurements may differ a little bit diff if it's a, a different model car. So this 
measurement here is two and three quarters. Now this measurement here is three and one eighth. And this post measurement is two and a quarter. And I find that it gives you a good height where this pedal is a little recessed and the brake pedal is a little higher, just like the, in, in the original uh, car. And also I wanna mention that this pulley here is from uh, Home Improvement Store, Home Depot. It's actually a pulley for a uh, sliding glass door for your house. So it has a bearing in the inside and it runs really smooth and it's a quarter inch diameter hole and it's metal, very strong. So this is my TV cable and I don't know if TV cables come in different lengths or these things stick out into different lengths but mine sticks out, this thing comes out about seven centimeters and this is how it mounts in here once it goes through the firewall it will come through here and click in place. TV cable will wind around and go in here. And what you'll have is when you press on this, it'll pull. your cable. So here's my firewall. I just wanted to show you on this side where the holes are because it's going to be impossible to show you on the other side. What I ended up doing was this was the regular, this is where I pulled out the pedal, right? The steer, the, the gas, the original gas pedal. And you can see if, here was my hole that I'm mounting it this way so this is the first post the second post and the third post all I can tell you is it ended up about two and a half centimeters this way of this hole and when you go up there and you put put this up and you put it against the firewall I took a marker and I just marked the corner and so I knew where kind of the hole was and that's where I drilled this hole from the inside of the firewall and with the other ones is the same thing. I just marked, took the marker, marked it like that, marked it like that, and then drilled the hole just above the V's that I made. But anyways, I ended up here, here, and here. Um, this hole right here is about one and three eighths hole to fit my TV cable through. So when the TV cable is in here, uh, it'll stick and bend just a little bit like this. Uh, after it goes in and it's mounted. So here it is mounted on the inside. And you can see it's pretty much where the old one was. And you can't really tell that there's a, a difference in height, but there is that difference in height. Uh, not possible, you can see. And here is the operation. You can see when I push that pedal, it's pulling pulley and also pulling the cable which is coming through there. So here's the again inside the engine compartment you can see it's mounted in there. Again this is going to be pushed up like this when the motor gets mounted. So this is the whole assembly again. I'll just rotate it around so you can see it. Uh, these are 5 16 bolts that I'm going to put through here and they're going to have lock nuts on them just like these. This one's going to be converted to a lock nut 
and there's the assembly. The rear here is also going to get lock nuts so that everything stays nice and tight. That's it, that's my drive by cable into my 69 Camaro with my 700 R4. And uh, I'll be done here soon, but I tested this out and uh, everything fits perfect. So I hope you guys will, uh, hope this will help somebody out there.